narrator? Yep. Oh, yep. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual. You could say Would that. You say? Kidding. Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? Not yet. You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Figure out what's going on. I haven't figured out how Let to stop it. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Thank you. Yeah, life. I need some help. You're agreed. I'm guessing it's choose life. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. Perhaps you've started to realize something. Taken together? That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more oh. unnecessary tragedy? I wonder if somebody Go in the on. group is not Back actually someone in the group. Speak soon. Or I wonder if someone if didn't need, or, make it. Or if you need everyone, because there was a full house he just showed. Oh. We need everyone to win. So my initial teamwork was probably the right answer. What the hell answer. is wrong with you back there? What? Brad, you lost your shit, like, big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on. No, no come on. That's ridiculous. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I got to be honest, it feels like there's some, like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, OK? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy, like dinosaur old. Not that that's a bad thing, but she just like up and vanished on me. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face. It, it was horrifying. All right. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know. It's just... Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? This is a ghost ship. <laughs> Am I crazy or are, are we on a ghost ship? Like ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and no, oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the same thing. Well, I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. What do you think actually happened on this ship? A goddamn mystery box is what it is. The ship is bound for San Francisco, but it hailed from a water purification plant in China. What? Apparently that's where it picked up the Manchurian gold. The date on the newspaper was 1947. Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical and it's leaking all over cargo hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. <sighs> this should go over well. There's some unnatural shit going on here. It is unsuper freaking natural. I was thinking I was going to say this place is like one real bad trip, but then I guess I just did already say that. Or wait, <sighs> did I say it yet? <sighs> Crap. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. 
Time to get off this ship. Mm, We're not Gallinger. going anywhere without the distributor cap. Your senses and getting everybody on run. the same page is not wasting time. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it... That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. Oh boy. This could be bad. Right. We gotta get off this damn ship. No Thank shit. Thanks, Captain Obvious. Yeah. Speaking clinically, totally effed. Something over there. Gas. What is it? Oh no no no! Hang on, they're not gas. It's kind of crazy, but I wonder if the plane from the dive could have been shot down by this ship. Hmm. Like one of the real big bullets, fifteen mil. Like the 50 cal? 50 cal. Those are, you, those are still big enough to pick up with your fingers, yeah? 50 cal? Yeah. I like the, twice the size of your finger. Yeah, that's what those were. That's why I thought they were cigars at first. What you got? So you remember when we first got on the boat and we hit the side of the boat? Yep. And one of, one of these boats came sliding down and ran into us and there was a dead body on it? It's a sergeant from Pro Lucian. Yeah, it was one of, one of the dudes that jumped off the boat and hit it at the very first episode. Yeah, I remember. I was pretty sure it was the sergeant. Found a way up? The sergeant or the medic? I don't remember. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Got something over here. Yeah, I've got some. Oh, you get that before I get this, okay? Oh, great! I gotta open it. Oh, it's a dead body. Finished interacting with it. Yeah. Hey, over here! Help me out. I think oh. this is our way up. Give me a lift. Really? You're gonna get her to help? Mm -hmm. I mean, this is tough, but... I'll pull you up. I guess that makes more sense. It's easier for him to pull her up. No, I mean, get, uh, like, Conrad or one of the others to help Alex up, and then Alex helps him. Oh, yeah. Everybody could have helped. Alex, get up there first. He appears to be the, the, the biggest specimen in terms of physical strength. Yeah, he looks like the muscle. I mean, Conrad seems to be fairly, uh, fairly well built too. But yeah, Brad's built like me. Not that way. Anything? Nope. Walk. <laughs> Camera is like making my guy stupid. This is. Oh, I don't like this camera view. This is where I chased Conrad before. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. Creepy music. Down here, quick. Oh, I don't think there's anything over here. Nope. Oh boy. Oh, I'm to open the spooky door. 
What's up? Ah, oh, that's the end. Okay. All right, big man. Over here. Got a way through here. There we go. I was wondering why it was closing by itself. There's a piece of metal behind it. Now, this is the main dude. room. Probably. I'm gonna go further down the hallway. Check to see if there's anything down there first. Is that a tree? That looks like a tree. I think that's a Yeah, that's a tree. Picture here. Oh, found a uh, painting. We got. Um, the dude that I hit with the beer bottle just got shot. I don't know if he killed himself or but there was a gun to his head and all of a sudden he just fell over dead. Find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival at this point. Thanks, Conrad. So they didn't, this boat didn't go the route that was planned. It went a lot farther south for some reason. It was supposed to go to the States, but we're in the middle of uh, the Pacific right now. Yeah. I just saw a dude blow his own brains out. Yeah, that's what I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. I think it was the dude that I hit with the beer bottle when we were on the boat. The uh, ship was blown off of course, cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Oh. Found the logbook. Nice. The last entry, according to this, they ran into one hell of a storm. Oh, I think I found the radio. I'm just reading yeah, the ship's logs. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Many crew dead. Oh boy. Mm, sounds pretty desperate. I die. Yep, got a radio here. Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Military bandwidth. Let's have some for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh. Um. Instructions. Or no, our coordinates. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees 30 minutes south, 151 degrees 20 minutes west. Please get here now. We need help. We're on this like old freighter. We think the name of it is the Iran Medan. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please come in. Fuck. Shit. 
Oh boy. Yo, guys, check it out. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. Oh. Adorable. So what do you think? Uh, if you're sure you're up for it, I got this. Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julian, no. Uh, you're not always going to be there to protect big guy. I can handle this. Trust me. I'm still the captain of something, and the captain's telling you that I'm going to. All right, Fliss. Ready? <laughs> oh. Ouch. Sure, that was a long ways down. <laughs> I got this. What? <laughs> Jesus. Mm -hmm. That must have hurt. Your fliss. I'm bad. Are you still alive? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna find the generator so we can power the radio. We'll wait here by the radio. No oh, shit, Sherlock. Hey. Full lantern. Old style lantern. This way. Ladies first. Be bright as day, be black as night. <laughs> Guessing these are the lower. No evil levels. shall escape my sight. Please let it escape my sight. <laughs> oh, nice Green Lantern reference, though. I don't oh. even know Green Lantern. Oh, you get that one, I'll get the one on the table. There's two over here. Oh. Too much Wait a reading. Minute. Oh, we're in the uh, we're in the medical bay. You got someone named Joe in no, the sorry, sorry. bay. Break, break. Sorry, we're in the break. Oh, okay. Well, it's probably not good. Some sort of altercation. Ten days in the break. Wow. Oh, that was uh, for you. And you get that kind of time. Well, it says only for Charlie. Yeah, on there it says only for Charlie, but on the other one it says action for you as well. Right, so that means that this way was the medical. Oh no, wait, are we coming from the other direction? We are coming from the other direction. Yeah, first aid is this way. Alright, we're heading back to the uh, first aid room. Alright. I like how it came back to the very beginning of the game. Yeah, that's a nice touch. Alright, you. This room is on the left. Yep. Found your Dude, picture. I'm walking around. I'm walking around barefoot. I think most of us are. I guess it could have been the son of someone on board. No shit from what it says on the back. Where are you at? 
Hey, I'm in your room. I'm in the medical bay. Oh, there you are. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, yeah. God, this dude's probably an old man by now. Pretty sure that was the kid that was hunting me in the first episode. I was disguising itself as my kid. No, apparently there was a, a child. There was a co there was a body a child sized coffin among the four coffins. Oh. They speculated that it was a young boy. What do you got there? Uh, patient record for John Patterson. Was John our sergeant? No, it's a private. Private. I read somewhere there was sergeant something. I think. C O S R. What's that? C O S R. Yeah, clear case of COSR, it said. I'm not sure. It's this way. Yep. Yeah. This is all new stuff. We didn't come this way in the first playthrough. That, that door that we just walked in was locked. Yep. Is there anything back there we... There's uh -huh. a ladder. Huh? Uh, drop down here. Here, come check this out. Look! Down there! Looks like the engine room. It's gotta be where the generator is. You're right. Let's go down there. Great. Ah. The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Hey! Are you okay? Easy. Yeah. Uh, all good. Just come down. That's not good for your knees. Imagine not. <gasps> or your ankles. Alright. Oh, oh, what What's the that? fuck it was, was that? It, it was... Wait, wait. Did you see it? See what? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years and it's having the same effect on us, you know, paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We knew they were scared of something. Weird stuff freaking everybody out. The officers, they thought it was just jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. Could this have anything to do with the wrecked plane from the dive? Okay, so the plane was a search and rescue. It came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal, we know that. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage, and for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking, or thought they saw. Well, Might have seen a dragon for all we know. Okay, mm. let's keep going. Alright, so if you have a choice to not freak out, let's not freak out. We're just hallucinating. Okay. Yeah, stay calm. Something there. What you got? Van Linden Engine Works, Rotterdam, Netherlands. Diesel engine number 1734, year 1920, type L87CSE. Hmm. I know fuck all about engines, so that means nothing to me. Yeah, you, you just spoke a different language for me. <laughs> I got the year, that's about it. <laughs> I 
So this gas is just a chemical that's making us hallucinate. Hmm. Sounds like something's still running down here. Yeah. Kind of surprised. I think it'd be out of fuel by now. Huh. What? Look at this. Oh, hey. It's the rebreather. The Looks fisherman pretty new. Over from the Duke of Milan. You think oh, it's, it's ours? Work? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. Yeah, we might need it for a spot that's yeah, really heavily you should take chemical. it. Half this damn ship is flooded. We might need it. Or that. Shit. Zeno is too, he is very dead. I can his dead friend. Oh, there's a distributor. Alright, so here's where we need to be careful. I saw it get broken. We need to tread carefully. Alright, eyes peeled. That might be what we saw. I saw him breaking. All right, here we go. Keep calm. Maintenant, ce n'est moi qui viens chercher. Les esprits morts viennent me chercher. Je vous attends pendant que les. Oh. GG, GG. Hold on. The distributor cap. Yep, right now. Where is it? To your right, I think. Somewhere. Alright, interact with him quickly. Jesus. Grab the cat split. Huh. I think Alex and Julia would be pretty stoked to see this again. Holy shit. Grab the cap. Oh, we didn't grab the cap. Oh, maybe he did. <laughs> 